This week's parsha of Shlach Lecha commences with the epic tale of the Twelve Spies, and the parsha concludes with the third paragraph of the Shema, which includes the mitzvah of Tzitzit. What's the connection between these two passages? Why this juxtaposition? You will notice that there are some linguistic parallels within the bookends of the parsha. You see, every time in modern Hebrew usage a word is written taken from a different language, for the T sound, there will be a tet and not a tuf. So, for example, in the words internet, supermarket, universita, it's tet and not tuf. Recently, I was in Israel and I saw in Jerusalem a sign on a bus written in Hebrew characters, Eget Tours. And the word Tours was written with a tuf and not a tet. That's because the Hebrew word Tur actually is taken from our parsha, not from another language. At the beginning of the parsha, the spies are told, La Tur et Aaretz, to tour the land. And in the third paragraph of the Shema, at the end of the parsha, we read, Velot Taturu Nechem. Do not allow your hearts and your eyes to take you on a tour of that which you should not be looking at. Also at the beginning of the parasha, the spies were told, Uri item et aretz, see the land. And in the Shema we're told, Uri item oto, see it. The blue cord of the tzitzit. So these two passages are crying out to us for a thematic link. And I would like to suggest as follows. The mitzvah of tzitzit is not an absolute obligation on men. You see, as we read in the Shema, Hashem tells us that in the event that we're wearing a four-cornered garment, we should attach tzitzit there too. What we do is we volunteer always to wear a four-cornered garment because we appreciate the value of the mitzvah of tzitzit. Tzitzit therefore comes as a tikkun, a correction for the sin of the spies because the spies voluntarily decided to do something negative. Hashem didn't want them to go into the land. That's why he said, Shlach lecha, Moshe, send them and it'll be on your head. The nation, however, wanted voluntarily to go into the land because they doubted the word and the deed of Hashem. Therefore, what we do through wearing tzitzit is to volunteer to do something positive. And tzitzit, therefore, is a symbol of so many voluntary deeds which we can opt to perform. Of course, there are numerous mitzvot that we carry out because God commands us to. But life presents us with so many beautiful opportunities to come forward and to embrace chances as they arise. So from tzitzit, we learn about the power of volunteering and how through enacting deeds, which are tzitzit style, we can correct the sin of the 12 spies. Shabbat Shalom.